Let's calculate the pH at a specific point on the titration curve. I'm going to go to point A in the titration curve, the very beginning, when I've added no base, and all I have is the solution of a weak acid. And we've actually done this before, but let's go through the calculation. Here it is. We're going to say, I'm going to take a solution that's just weak acid. I haven't added, added any strong base yet, so I expect it's a weak acid solution. I expect the pH to be between 1 and 7. Let's say our original concentration of the acid is 0.1 molar, and a little of it dissociates to give me an equilibrium concentration of 0.1 molar minus x of the HAC, x molar H3O plus, and x molar AC minus. Now, I can put those into the expression for the equilibrium, the products over the reactants, and I can look up, let's say I'm using acetic acid, the equilibrium constant for acetic acid, and solve for x. Now, to solve for x, the easiest thing to do is assume that x is small with respect to 0.1. And I do that because I see that k is a relatively small number, and if k is small, then this reaction doesn't go very far, and x's should be small. I should favor this side, the 0.1 side. So if only a small fraction of the 0.1 initial moles react, x will be small. So if I make that assumption, then the re reaction simplifies. I don't have to calculate a quadratic solution. I can calculate this solution here. x squared is 0.1k, or x is 1.33 times 10 to the minus 3. x is the H3O plus concentration, so I can calculate the pH directly from that. The pH is about 2.88. So at the beginning of the titration curve, again, we're right here, where we have a solution of just a weak acid, I haven't added any base, the pH can be calculated just as, as if it were a weak acid solution. Weak acid solution of acetic acid, the initial pH of 0.1 molar acetic acid has an initial pH of 2.88.